of course, it will pay you. So lending to the poor, helping the orphans, helping the widows, helping those in need, you are lending to God. You're, 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 you're investing. You're investing. And funny enough, in such, you're not just storing treasure there in heaven, you would also reap the fruit of it here and while you're on it. Storing up in heaven is investing in soul winning. Is winning souls for the Lord. Investing and winning too. You will not say you're investing and you will not win souls. You will not say um, investing in heaven is evangelism. Is praying, interceding consciously for God's kingdom to come and his will be done on earth so as it is in heaven. That is investing in the kingdom consciously. Helping. He said, oh, when do I see you and did not help you? When did I see you naked and did not clothe you? When did I see you hungry and did not give you food? He said, if you do it to the least of these people, he said, you are doing it to me. So if you do it to humanity, you do it to people, you help. You show love, you show kindness, you are careful with your words. You don't break people via your words. You don't destroy them. You are not wicked, you are not evil. You help people. You invest in heaven. But I tell you above all, soul winning is the highest. Winning of souls. Investing. He said there is joy in heaven over a soul that repents. They have, the angels celebrate. Brethren, let's think about this. Let's think about this. This year, 2022, let's be conscious in our soul winning, in our evangelism approach. Target a brother. Have a target. If you've watched the movie War Room, you saw how that elderly woman kept on praying for God to send in someone for her to reach out to. And when she was done with that woman investing in her, then she said, one more, Jesus. One more. I need just one more so again. Give me another one, another so for me to teach, to invest in spiritually. How often do you teach men? How often do you invest in the life of men? Just look for someone. You don't need to have all the money. You don't need to. That leads you from that leads you you have. Ep. So seed consciously. You can look for someone in need. Someone in need and support. And rescue and help. This is investing in heaven. Storing up treasure. If you know consciously that you spent your time in evangelism, you, spent, you know you have invested so much, you would not want to miss heaven. You would not want to. You would want to be on ground. Ah, may the Lord help us. Now verse 22 says, your eye are lamp uh, your eyes are like lamps and your body is like a room make sure that the uh, make sure that your eyes like a make sure that your eyes are like a clean lamp then your whole body would have light now this one is speaking says make sure your eye make sure your eyes are like clean lamp. If it is, then you, the whole of your body would have light. Why? Because he illustrated your body to be a room. Imagine a room with gross darkness. And you have a lamp. You know lamp. Then the glass is covered with smoke, dark smoke. The place would not be properly light. But you see, when you have... When you have a lamp with clean glasses, 
then light will be able to be transmitted to the room. The place will be lit and the whole place will be so bright for you to see. That is what the scripture is talking about. Your eye is a lamp to your body. Now the NLT Lazarus says, if the light, if the light you think you have is darkness, it's how thick is your darkness? How thick is your darkness? Brethren, in this year, let's control our eyes. Let's control. See, see, I've come to notice that what you see, maybe not, not instantly, but time into time, you would do a, a flash, you do a flashback on those things. Those things will begin to recall in your heart. So when you see much of evil, when you ponder and watch too much dirty things, it has a way of affecting our hearts. For the brothers, be careful the, the kind of things you see. These days we have a lot of naked ladies around, flaunting their bodies. Sometimes I told myself, um, that I'll be careful, I'll look ladies in the face, in their head, and I'll be careful not look below. Why? Because looking below, you may just end up seeing cleavages, and if you're not careful, you may see down to the nipples. Why? Because their clothes are not properly covered now. So let's control the the things we see let's control the things we see you see if your eyes are not good then your whole body will be in dark will be in the dark if the light in you has become dark you will be living in a very dark place if the light in you has become dark then you'll be living in a very dark place now 24, which is the last, says, Nobody can serve two... Okay, say, nobody can walk as a slave for two masters. At the same time, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot serve two masters at the same time. Nobody can walk as a slave for two masters at the same time. You say, maybe you will hate one of the masters but he will love the other one. Or he will work for one, but he will think bad things about the other one. Now this last part says, God and money are like different masters. You cannot work for the both of them. There's a part of the scripture we'll get into. I don't want to, I don't want to walk into tomorrow. I don't want to talk into our tomorrow devotion. Let's just be careful. Joshua speaking, he says, I don't know of you, but I and my household we will serve the Lord. Serve God. Because it's he only him that giveth power to make words. Serve God. He will give you power to make words. Don't forget that the cattle, the silver, and the gold belongs to him. The cattle and the horses are the 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 the, 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 the thousand cattle and donkeys at the mountain top belongs to him. They are all his. In that your business, it will give you power to make words. Words is like a god of his own that people pursue, they, they long for, they, they worship. They worship. Let me just stop there so I will not begin to eat into tomorrow's devotion. But I believe very well that we understand 
what we've talked about, what the Holy Spirit have taught us about. That will be true. From now on, we should begin to store up treasure in heaven and not here on earth. We can put one or two things in place so that we can have a comfortable life here on earth. But we should deliberately and consciously stop treasure in heaven. Tell yourself. Look for someone, target someone, help persons, help people. You may have small, small 1,000, 2,000 I can do. You could just decide to look for someone and place that person on one 1,000 naira every time or every month, as the case may be. You can look for a child around you by a school is about to resume by a um, dozen of um, a dozen of notebook and give it to that child as in the parents of that child you can look for a particular family and go to their school buy all their needed textbooks it's an investment you can look for a family get a bag of rice and help them with it For so winning, you can tell yourself, for every Wednesday when you're coming back from the office, you're preaching the bus, to and fro. If you have enough cash, pay for everyone in the bus. You can tell yourself, for each time you sit in the bus going to the work, going to your place of work, you pay for that neighbor close to you, not necessarily everyone in the bus. You could just, time to pay. You just pray to me, just, you just say, Lord, tell me who will I pay for now? Who will I pay for now? And your spirit is direct, directing you to that woman sitting at the front. You say, okay, driver, take for me and auntie over there. You don't need to know her. It could just be that that is her last transport fare. In fact, she intends to just journey to, like, say, a place called Ring Road and trek the remaining parts. But you see, when you help her, she will be able to continue her journey. Or she that may just be her last card, paying that transport fare for her. She may get back home and use the other one to buy food. Help someone. You're in the bus, you are traveling, you buy cold can water. You can tell the boy, leave the change. Yes, you can say leave the change. You can give him 500. Why, instead of him busy pursuing you, want to give you the change inside the bus, you can say, no worry, no worry, keep the change. You should have a good heart to give. Win souls. Genuine heart, passion to want to help. Don't forget when you do this, it's like you're giving and giving will come back to you. But we're not talking about the coming back to you portion now. We're talking about the investments that it will keep for you in heaven. The treasure that will be stored up for you in heaven. That's the part we're talking about. May the Lord continue to help us. To follow His rules, to follow His regulation, to help us in guiding our lives. Help us, O Lord, to stop treasure in heaven and not see on earth. Help us, O Lord, to live a holy life. Help us, O Lord, that our, that the light in our lives will be so bright. Help us to control our eyes. Help us to control what we see, what we look at, and what we meditate on. Help us, O Lord, to live every day of our lives accountable and dependable on you. Help us to live a holy life knowing fully well that you can call us at any time. Help us to always be ready for your call. Help us to always be ready for your call, ready to follow you anytime you beckon on us. Help us. Help us. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the devotion. Thank you for our viewers. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our loved ones. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our our businesses.